last time we shut the generator down. Started the engines. Check for engine cooling water. Can I have trouble you put down? Hold up the anchor. And got underway with Jay at the helm. Leaving Anagata, the next adventure begins. Captain Richard makes pulling the anchor up look easier than doing a mooring bowl. We are sailing from Anagata to Jos van Dijk, which will be our longest sail at 27.4 nautical miles. We had good wind, a few other boats to race, and we had the current moving in our favor. The whole fleet of boats coming this way. We got a ball at Diamond Key and launched the dinghy and made our way ashore to Taboo. From there we hiked to the bubbly pool for a lovely afternoon relaxing in the warm Caribbean waters. The bubbly pool is one of those all natural experiences without any vendors and no cost to participate. In other words, wonderful. That evening, we went ashore at Little Yost Van Dyke for dinner at the Beeline Bar. It is one of those places off the beaten path that you don't want to miss. Today, we are headed to Great Harbor. I'd like to take a moment to share our condolences for Joan Chinnery for the loss of her son, Kenroy Chinnery. Kenroy was a Yost Van Dyke local who was always polite, kind, and friendly. He collected the mooring fees on the first come, first served balls and delivered his mom's wares, empanadas and such, via dinghy to all the sailors. Kenroy is and will be missed. We are firing up the engines to make our way over to Great Harbor. Checking both engines for exhaust cooling water. Georgia is releasing the mooring lines and Jay is at the helm taking us off the mooring ball. You may know that Georgia unties the line and lets it go and drops in the water, then pulls it from the other end to retrieve it, pull it back into the boat. That single line is under quite a bit of tension. Watch your fingers, honey. This is getting to be a well-oiled crew. We motored on this overcast morning from Diamond Key to Great Harbor with Jay at the helm, and I got to relax. Upon arrival, we tied up to a mooring ball and launched the dinghy. Now we're going ashore. The cab was unable to travel Front Street, as a portion of it was washed out, so we went around the back and took a left to get back to Front Street. And we're making a left turn to get back to Front Street. And we're back on Front Street. The Suggy Dollar Bar in Light Bay. I 
I noticed this Geotag PVC foam panel was being used for the roof on this taxi. Quite clever and functional. It's always really nice when a taxi driver stops so everyone can take a photograph of White Bay. We have arrived at the Sucky Dollar Beach Bar. This is one of George's favorite places in the world. Happy place. Oh, to the drink boards. Before coming to the boat, Jay had talked to many of his friends and got them to buy him drinks at the Sucky Dollar Beach Bar. I might add that Jay was quite successful in that 20 drinks were waiting. That's a lot of painkillers. As the crew gets our camp set up, let's take a little walk on the beach. I'll stop talking now as the sound of the waves speak for itself. While I was walking the beach, the crew was setting up camp at this ideal location. We have shade from the umbrella and the palm trees. Jay is getting the drink boards down to find all his friends. A huge thank you to everyone who supported Jay and Julie's trip in the BVI. You're right there on the first one. Right here. Perfect. Four All right. pack. All right. I'm going to go claim this one so we can get our drinks. All right, next page. Go face down on that one. We'll just... Oh, this backside. Uh oh. Got Jay Nelson. Yeah. One pack. Two pack. Yeah. Let's just let's go. Let's, let me go claim There's these. another one. Three back. Yeah, right oh, at the oh, top. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right. Let's just, let's go. You found some treasure on there? Yeah. yeah. Lots of them. One sec, not done yet. Yeah. All right. Lucky you. You know, you got, uh, you got friends. You're special people. <laughs> he is. He is. <laughs> I got like 13 or 14 of them to find. Woo! 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 Oh, yeah, you're glad to do it. <laughs> <laughs> if I drink free, it's not free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not free. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Good guys. Good guys. Good guys. Walking the beach. Oh, it's really raining out. Maybe not. Oh my goodness. I, uh, I'm not sure about this, you guys. <laughs> Just the first one. Now it's a downpour. Yeah, it's a downpour. How long is it going to last, guys? Fortunately, the rain didn't last long. Painkillers and floaties make a good combination. Hi, honey. What day is it? <laughs> According to Jay, it's always the five o'clock day. <laughs> and there is Jay and Julie out there enjoying. Jay and Julie are in the water and they're waving us to come in, but we're really just going to let them do an eight hour float on the floaties. 
Like their first date. <laughs> Years ago on the California Delta, our brother Craig dropped Jay and Julie off via boat on a beach on Old River near Italian Slough for their first date. They were floating on a surfboard and talking, and Jay saw something on the other side of the river and said, let's go check it out. Craig came back a few hours later, slowed down, and said that Chris, his girlfriend, had to go to work and that he'd be right back. He never returned. Jay and Julie floated downstream on Old River for eight hours before getting to Julie's parents' cabin at Dell's Marina, now River's End. And that's the story. Hello. Yes, I am on my phone. I didn't say a thing. <laughs> I'm the one who makes the reservations. There you go. My excuse. Hey. Rumor has it Captain had a small nap. I don't know. Uh, rumors are true. true. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Kids doing what kids need to be doing. Plain. Very nice. You guys want to join them? Oh, very cute. Georgia and I look so little in this chair. Where are we? We're at Gertrude's on White Bay, where you pour your own drink, but you have to know how to make the drink before you can pour the drink. What are we drinking? Pain relievers. <laughs> pain killers. Pain relievers to kill the pain. <laughs> uh, cup or cone? Cup. Cone for me. Cone. Yeah, make a cone too. On January 19, 2023, businessman C.D. Colwood, who is the owner of the One Love Bar, died when his car crashed on Yost Van Dyke. One Love was a favorite for many who visited Yost Van Dyke. It is clear that his absence is felt by many. For those of you watching, these chairs are reserved for you. He's making fun of me. <laughs> He's doing a pretty good job. <laughs> Oh goodness, I'm signing off. <laughs> The dad of this family thought he had lost his cell phone, so that created a bit of a panic. But it was eventually found in the folds of a towel on a chair, and it all ended on a high note. A day at White Bay comes to a close, and we are heading out to catch a taxi. It's an overcast day, and while the view is still great, without the sunshine, you don't get to see those amazing Caribbean turquoise waters. This is where the road washes out during the rainy season. Our cab dropped us off here, and we will make the short walk back to the dinghy. Shut, Shut up. <laughs> Come back next time as we have another day of adventure on Yost Van Dyke. We have dinner at Tipsy Shark. We go back to Soggy and finish off the balance of painkillers. We would like to invite you to subscribe, like, and leave a comment or a question. For those of you who have subscribed, thank you. And thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>